Hello, I'm Denise Van Outen and welcome to Matalan Presents The Show, your one-stop shop for fashion and style advice for all your family. From the latest trends, fashion must-haves and top tips for your wardrobe and home, we've got it covered. And my friends joining me today are the fashion director of Woman Magazine, Paula Moore. Hello. Hello there. Looking good. <laughs> Thank you. And a fashion, lifestyle and family blogger with a big online following, Catherine Sharman. Hi. Hello. Also looking good. Thank you. <laughs> now, this month, the eyes of the fashion world are firmly on London Fashion Week, where the biggest designer names are showcasing their latest collections. But how does what we see on the catwalk filter down to our wardrobes? Well, you've got to remember the designers are like showing off their talent and all that they can do. So it's very dramatic and theatrical, but the cuts and colours will filter down into our wardrobes eventually. Yeah, I mean, we all look at the coverage in magazines and we see all of those, you know, trends filtering down to the shops, but we still have to make it workable for real life too. Absolutely. Everything on the catwalk is exaggerated. Yes, that's it. So once the latest trends do start to appear for us to buy, what advice would you give on how to choose the right trend to suit you? Well, I think most of the trends can suit you. You just have to adapt them to your shape. For instance, floral is big again this season, but if you're smaller, quite petite, I would say go for a ditzy floral print. But if you've got a fuller figure, you can go for a large statement floral. To be fair, florals are always big every year, but this year it's all about the moody blooms. Oh, what's a moody bloom? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's a floral print on a darker background, which is super flattering. I like it. Yeah. Like this. Now, is this yeah. a bomber jacket? Yeah, I'll just show you this example here. Basically, what you've got here is a really, really pretty update on what is essentially the season's hottest jacket, which is still the bomber. But the fabric looks really light. Yeah, it's really silky and soft. Lovely. So that's something you could wear on an evening out? Yeah, exactly. I'd just put it on with jeans and heels and it'd be great. I love it. See, I love a statement jacket. I'm also a massive fan of leopard print. For me, it's never gone out of fashion. I know it has for a lot of people. It comes and goes. But I love it and I think it's such a glamorous look, like yeah. this coat, which I think is fantastic. Um, it's faux fur and it's, it's, very, it's a great length, I think, first yeah. of all. And it's something that you can wear just with simple black, or, you know, you can wear it, dress it up with heels, and I'd even throw in some jewellery there, but then yeah, that's just me. Yeah, but don't go overboard. I think one leopard piece <laughs> is enough. Don't take me off. Go. <laughs> I know, I do get <laughs> a bit crazy with the accessories. But I also love your jacket as well. Yeah, that's really nice. Thank you. It's a nod to the 90s, so the camouflage is back in. So I love this print, and it's really wearable with most things. Transitional jacket, and it's got this lovely cosy lining, so really great for um, winter days mm -hmm. as well. But, yeah, it's something you can dress up and down really Looks cool, easily. but keeps you nice and warm. Love thank it. You. Now, what I'd love to know is how to look on trend, whatever the occasion. One area which is often tricky is to pull off looking stylish when you're just chilling out at the weekend. I live in the countryside, so I just put on my tracksuit bottoms, oh, slob no. around. Yeah, there's no need for tracksuit bottoms. <laughs> tracksuits are for the gym. You should be wearing relaxed tailoring come the weekend. There's no excuse not to be stylish and comfortable. Telling me off. Yes. <laughs> what is relaxed tailoring? Relaxed tailoring is like you can throw on a lovely check shirt and wear it with, like, jeans or something. It's, like, you know, just easy pieces that you can wear. Do you know, I have to be really honest with you, I haven't got a checked shirt in my wardrobe, but looking at this, I'm tempted to buy one. Yep. Sell it to me. Right, this one is perfect. I mean, it's a really soft fabric, so easy to throw on. It could be dressed up and down, great for layering, and you don't even need to iron it, so it's perfect for you. Say goodbye <laughs> to the tracksuit. Yes, yeah, definitely. And I've also spied there the Parker jacket. That's back, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Parker is such a hero piece. It's such a versatile jacket as well. I mean, it's light enough to take you through those changeable weather days, but it's also going to be warm enough to take you all the way through to winter. So the park was big in the 90s, yep. camo big in the 90s. The There's 90s a revival yeah. going on. <laughs> right, clothes aren't the only way to make a statement about yourself. The style of your home can also say a lot. And there are plenty of new trends influencing interior fashions. Now, is this important to you? Yes, yeah, I love interiors. And I think especially when you've had kids, you spend a lot of time at home. So True. you've got to enjoy being there. And it's all about just making your home as cosy as possible. It's a bit of a retreat for us, really. Absolutely. So what's the style we're looking at? Well, the big trend this season is the Scandinavian trend. So it's like really pared back items in cool colours, calm. It's all cosy and sophisticated pieces. See, I really like the icy blue tones. Yeah. You'd think it'd be cold to walk into, but actually it's really warm. It gives you I a warm mean, sense. You would love this bedroom. It's a Nordic range. So it said it's just like a room you would love to escape to. I'd never leave that no. bed. <laughs> I'm in that bed all day. I'm not yeah. getting out at all. And how about creating the mood with accessories? Yeah, it's all about lighting, really, to try and get that cosy Scandinavian feel. And a really easy, affordable way to do that is with tea lights and lanterns. Well, look at this lantern here. It's a really nice wooden one. You can just put, like, a, a pillar candle in there and it's good to go. I love that. Now, for me, if I'm going to be cosy, I like to be on a sofa with lots of cushions. <laughs> I dress this. 
<laughs> now, I love these cushions. I love the mix as well of the fabrics. I like the velvet, the Mongolian fur, the mm. chenille. For me, it's all about mixing it. Yeah, and as so many cozy cushions as you well. can. Love yeah. being cosy. <laughs> right, thank you so much, ladies. It's been fantastic mm. talking trends with you. That brings us to the end for today. But join me next time on the show when we'll be getting cosy for winter with our essential guide to layering. Bye for now. I love that, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>